Kentucky lawmakers tonight are in override mode, returning to Frankfurt to override a number of Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear's vetoes. Many of them have to do with his response to the pandemic. Our political editor Chris Williams has been in Frankfurt all day watching the process unfold. He's joining us live now with a brand new update on where things stand. Hi, Chris. Hey, Doug, and I don't know if you hear the dinging behind me. That's the sound of votes being taken in the House. Just moments ago, Senate Bill 2's veto was overridden by the House. They're right now looking at Senate Bill 1. We are nearly the entire way there through these veto overrides. The final stretch here at the Capitol, the next stop is certainly the court system. House bills 1, 2, 3, and 5 cleared both the House and the Senate. They focus on aspects of the pandemic response by Governor Andy Beshear to force the Attorney General to take up abortion fights, create a panel of judges to decide lawsuits filed against the state, and there was one about the governor's power to reorganize boards. All saw overwhelming Republican support. Those supermajorities in both chambers meant there was very little Democrats could do. They tried to fight the override of Senate Bills 1 and 2. One limits the governor's emergency executive orders to 30 days unless the General Assembly approves an extension. But this is going to explicitly remove the ability of local government to deal with very real issues affecting them. And ultimately, I fear that the votes we pass today will cost people their lives in the future. So our governor to say that SB2 is unconstitutional is rich, to say the least. Our Constitution is not paused during periods of pandemic. It is during these times that our citizens lean on these rights the most. Again, as we speak, Senate Bill 1 is being debated and about to be voted on in the House. That veto override would be the last of those that we would see today. And the governor says that he plans to fight these overrides in court. We will see which ones he fights and how quickly that happens. Doug, it's important to note that typically when you're dealing with overriding vetoes, it comes at the end of a session. Lawmakers set aside those overriding vetoes and they tackle all of those in the last couple of days of a session in the spring, but they didn't do that this time. They set them aside, uh, they set aside other work to get these vetoes done today. Part of that is because many of these bills have to do with the pandemic response and they feel that the General Assembly deserves more power in that process. They want to get that power right away to get involved in recovering from the pandemic. Also, they know that the court system will undoubtedly deal with some of these. And so the sooner they can get it in the courts, the sooner the courts can decide who is in charge during this pandemic. Governor Andy Bashir says it's him. The Republican majority in the House and the Senate feel they need more power and they deserve more power. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens in the coming days. Live at the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.